How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Fenigo C39, and today's anime review. I've been popping off so much of this, like, damn, like, I should just release this every day. Well, I don't want to spam you guys too much of it, so I want to keep it to a minimum of every three days or four days or so, depending on whatever videos are in front of me. And I just want to put, you know, the anime just, you know, like behind there, in front of there. Whatever, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, today's anime is called <clears throat> The Helpful Fox of, of Sono, Sonoko-san. It is found on Verb, and it is a 12-episode anime with a runtime down to 23 episodes. And the bout is, sometimes the cure to a hard day's work is the tender love and care of a fox girl? Salaryman Nakoso's stressful life is suddenly intruded. Inter Intruded upon by the fox Sanoko Sanoko San, who is eager to help him heal his exhaustions, whether she's cooking, cleaning, or finding other ways to care for Nanako Nanako. Okay, Naka Nakano Nakano. She's there to take away his stress, and that's what's the whole premises of the uh, and the entirety of the anime. And what I gotta say is, my gosh, I enjoyed watching every single episode of it. Because it's just basically just, like, wholesome shit, right? Right there, Holmes. Like, this, um, that fox girl, her name is fucking, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Sonoko. She, she's just the caring, loving type of mother. And it's just like, wow, like, 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 like damn, like, I wanna, I, I wanna have... Well, my mom, everybody's mom is, like, caring and everything, but, like, damn, like, it's, like, a relatable level, like, this person is trying to do so much for you, and, like, you just feel so bad and guilty, which is what, how, um, okay, I cannot, I'm gonna fucking mispronounce his name again, but from Nanak, Nakan, eh, the guy, I'm just gonna say the protagonist because I'm gonna keep messing up his name. So the protagonist always feels like crap because, um, <clears throat> Seneca always does so much for him, which is like what she did all over in the up, all over in the anime. She cooks for him all the time, like fucking the food, anime food is so great. Like I want, I want to eat some of that. The way that she cooks is just mind boggling. And she's 800 years old, and she's a demigod fox, so, you know, that's something you gotta keep about right there. So, the protagonist introduces her to some bits of reality of how he teaches her how to use a little bit of his phone, his washing machine, washing machine, washing machine, oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce, a vacuum cleaner, which is funny because she was afraid of the big noise that the vacuum cleaner make. And I think it was like a rice cooker or something, and she was just really bad at using it until she got the use of it. Her job is to make sure that this um, thing or this darkness that's holding the protagonist doesn't like spread across everybody and doesn't, I'm pretty sure, doesn't consume him. So her job is, you know, to pamper him, take care of him, all that, which is like, oh, uh, this is like really cute and everything. I I I really I really enjoyed watching it all, and I really hope there is a second se season. If not, that's a okay, because it's whether or not if it want if it deserves a second season. It's just really one of the animes to enjoy. And it's just like again, so wholesome, loving. Like she does so much for him, care for him, and everything that he hasn't gotten so much attention in his life because you know he's been working really hard. And like what I what I gotta say to that, like my man been working, he been getting the bread, but it's just like he's been constantly stressing. It does it makes you feel so bad for him, which it, it does because his um his co-workers always nag him and ask him, oh, please help us. Our team is running late on the deadline. Please help us. And I'm like, bro, you're taking advantage of this man's kindness just to just for them to to get their shit done. And I'm like, man, this this guy is having it so, so rough. Like, there, he could have said no, but he's such a nice dude to help people out. And, you know, even with all the stress that he brings home back to... Back to his house, Sonoko is always there to fucking pamper the shit out of him. And what I enjoyed one of the episodes, I forgot what it was, is when he allows her to cut his hair. And it was just like the funniest thing ever. Because he was freaking out of when she made this one mistake that 
she cut one piece of part of his hair and then she just magically put it back. Well, she's a demigod fox, so she has abilities like that. But it's just like funny the way that he freaks out um, and it's just like uh that's uh that's funny. But yeah, I suggest just watching this and watching this anime if you guys love like wholesome types type of shit like it's all of my caring and all that shit that I, I dig up and eat it because it is just fucking, I, I just love it. It's just, I, I love it, love it, love it very, very much. And I would have to put this at the 7 category, I 7 out of 10 category. Really great, got no issues with it. Love the characters, love all of them. Um, the, one of them is... Uh, Sonoku's best friend, uh, Shira, and you get to see in the uh, one of the episodes when they go to the beach together with um the protagonist's um with the protagonist's um neighbor that she believes that Sonoku and Shiri is just cosplaying, but she does not get the grasp of it, which is kind of fine. But yeah, you get to meet um the big boss herself, and it was just hilarious how they meet. You guys gotta go watch it to order to order to understand how, like well not understand just like like enjoy how funny it was just just go go watch it just go watch it right now if you guys got nothing else to watch but anyways ladies and gentlemen that's just gonna be it for this review let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if not that's a-okay with me but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is fennigos 239 and i hope you all have a wonderful morning morning night day evening whatever the occasion is but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next one. Have a great time or a great day, evening, whatever. Adios. Peace out.